Hey friends, I am back in Canadian National Forest. I am at the Fisherman's Camp Trailhead. It's just up ahead. Um, and my intention with this trip is to see if today I can finally make it out to Blue Water. On my last trip, that was my destination, but I started a little bit late in the day. It was the same scenario as today. This is a hike after work on a Saturday. Um, it's actually 1.59 p.m. right now. So I feel I might still have enough time to get there. And that is the intention with this trip, to make it out to Blue Water and find out what Blue Water is because I've passed that trail marker several times and I've just never taken the time because I'm actually headed on a different direction. I've never taken the time to hike back and, and see what Blue Water is. Um, I've been kind of checking it out on the map and it seems like there could be uh, some decent spots where I can maybe spend the night. I brought my stuff with me, all my backpacking stuff with me just in case I do. Um, everything is in order just in case I, I need to spend the night. Uh, and that is my destination today, is Blue Water. So um, I guess we better get going, it's 2 p.m. and the weather is beautiful. I think uh, it's about 80, it, might, it feels like it might be like 85 degrees today, so it's perfect. Um, and there's a little bit of a breeze, so it's not too hot. And again, I am at the Fisherman's Camp uh, Trailhead, it's just, just stop ahead. And this is in the Cleveland National Forest in the San Mateo Canyon Wilderness area. So, all right friends, let's get going. So we are at the last campsite that we used um, here by the pond. Water's definitely getting lower at the pond. Hopefully it doesn't completely dry out um, because there's, 
you know, there's a lot of wildlife in there. Frogs, turtles, fish. So hopefully it doesn't completely dry out. Plus I'm sure that this is a good, a good water source for other kind of wildlife. Um, pretty much everything else is dried out at the creek, except for this bigger, bigger ponds of water. So, all right, I think we are less than a mile away from Blue Water Trail. So, let's keep going. What time is it? It's 4.10 p.m. So, I still have enough time to go check it out. And if I don't, if I don't like it, um, I will have completed my mission. And then uh, if I decide to turn around, I still have enough time to make it to make it back to the car with uh, plenty of daylight, so. Uh, or right at about that time when it's gonna start to get dark. So, all right, let's keep, let's keep going. All right, friends, so at this point, I think I'm gonna call this mission accomplished. Uh, Blue Water Trail, there's a, uh, right at the, right at the, um, uh, right at the trail marker. If you go to the right, you keep chasing the Blue Water Trail. If you go to the left, you are, you end up where I'm at right now, which is pretty much right next to the creek, a couple hundred feet away. Uh, it's the San Mateo Canyon Creek. It's all dried out right now. There's a couple of pools of water in there, but the water's nasty, not water that you, or at least I would try to use even if I filter the water. Um, it's pretty green, pretty pretty not good looking. But anyways, um, at this point, I'm gonna call this mission accomplished. Maybe I'll do a little bit of research and see where this blue water trail can connect me to. If there's a way, maybe I can do like a lollipop at some other time. Um, kind of trail but at this point I'm gonna call it good um, I'm gonna start hiking back there's this amazing campsite here and I, I want to revisit this campsite maybe maybe when it starts raining again and there's actually water flowing at the creek I think that this would be a fantastic uh, campsite it's only about four miles I just checked the old trails app because I'm you know I'm tracking uh, so I think I'm only about four miles away from the car so this this is a great great camping spot um, it's taking me a little bit of time to get here because i'm filming along the way so i have to stop and set up the tripod and all that fun stuff but uh, but anyways uh, it's, it's only about four miles away um, and getting here is mostly downhill it's probably going to take me a little bit longer to get back up to the car because then you're there's a lot of uphill that you got to do uh, but at this point, I'm not really feeling like camping out here. Um, I don't know, it's a great campsite, but I'm not really feeling it tonight. So I'm gonna start hiking back and see how I feel by the time I make it to the other campsite I've stayed at a couple of times, the one by the pond. Um, maybe I'll feel like setting up tenting on that one again. Um, but if not, maybe I'll just, I'll just keep trekking back to the car. So. Mission accomplished for today. Blue water trail that way, and it looks like it just it, it keeps going. Um, so I can finally scratch that one off the list. Um, at some other time, maybe I'll I'll try to connect it to something else, if at all possible. 
But okay, friends, I'm gonna just keep trekking back to either to my car or to the other campsite, which is about a mile away. So, all right, I will see you in a minute. Hey friends, so I decided to hike back instead of uh, spending the night. Um, I still have plenty of daylight uh, left in the day. It is 7.15 p.m. right now. And I am, I wanna say that I am about, uh, about a mile away from, from, uh, from my car. Um, I am at mile six, basically mile seven, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is mile 6.94, so basically mile 7. So it'll be pretty close to 8 miles uh, round trip. So that was not too bad. I think I started at around, what was it, 1 or 2 p.m., somewhere in there. And it's just uh, past 7 p.m. right now. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of a break. Uh, I didn't take too long of a break. It was pretty much hike in, kind of, you know, um, explore the area a little bit and then pretty much hike back out uh, because I was trying to avoid uh, hiking in the dark so um, let's see what else what else uh, blue water trail um, I just gotta do a little bit more research and see if there's any other ways I can connect it or maybe I can do it early in the morning I can start early in the morning and see how how far I can make it out there um, but today I'm pretty content with what I accomplished today as far as trying to figure out uh, what the Blue Water Trail was. I was hoping that it was going to be this amazing uh, campsite next to the creek and there was still going to be some water out there, but unfortunately that wasn't it. But that campsite that I found, that's a good campsite for whenever there's water. Unfortunately, right now the creek is pretty much dried out. This was a great experience, a uh, wonderful, wonderful hike. There's some great campsites uh, over there. Uh, we are still in the, uh, in the San Mateo Canyon wilderness area. So um, you grab a, a, a wilderness permit and, and you can do dispersed camping out here gear i'm still trying out some new gear um this hike i started i think around 1 or 2 p.m and it's just past 7 p.m right now and i came prepared just in case i was going to spend the night which i didn't um, but i came prepared with all my backpacking gear and with enough water because there is not any good water out there anymore in a pinch if you have nothing else and you have a good filter you can filter some of that green water and that would be better than than no water at all but uh, no i'm just gonna i'm just gonna keep bringing my water until we start getting some fresh fresh water uh running again and with that said uh, my pack was about 31 32 pounds i think when i waited that's of, of course not including the camera and the tripod, um, but just uh, what I have on my pack, uh, five liters of water, 
Um, yeah, everything pretty much you see on me was about was about 31 to 32, 32 pounds, I wanna say. So, um, all right, my friends, that's it for me on this one. Hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget the usual, like, subscribe and share with a friend. And as always, hope to see you out on the next one. Bye.